So, we pretty much know what the brand new creature is coming to Ark Survival Evolved. You guys would have seen my last video, and we were sort of talking about a theory about what it is going to be, and obviously that theory sounded pretty cool, but we have actually got a very bit of interesting information in today's video, and I hope you guys are excited. I'm going to give a massive shout out to Matt because without Matt, we would not have found out this information. And I know some people might f still think different with this, but this is very, very interesting information. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video and you are excited for Genesis Part 2 coming, obviously, in March 2021, your survival ends here. Smash that like button right now for the hype. Let's go for over 1,000 likes on today's video. As always, it really does mean so much to me. Subscribe if you're new around here and let's just get in with the video now you would have seen this page plenty of times and you would have obviously seen it in the last video and many people thought yeah this could be some sort of you know sea serpent like the one from god of war and things like that but it turns out with some information regarding the underwater panther now we'll come back to this first but we're going to read through this first so Matt tweeted me saying, the red circle show the antlers, the blue circle shows the cat's snout, and these are each individual artist's renditions of the name I cannot pronounce, it's like the Mishubi something, um, but it is an underwater panther, and some legends place it with dragons and other different things in that sort of, uh, you know, in that mythology, to what we were talking about in last video, and you guys will know that wildcard follow this type of stuff, not in the sense of when, the, when it's like a new dino, that because they, they mix it up, don't they? They have their sort of mythology, they have their creatures, they have their dinosaurs, and it all has sort of become, rather than just a dinosaur survival game, like obviously you can get dinosaurs, it, it, it's like said to arc the dinosaur survival game, but there's so many other possibilities and creations within the game. So he said the HLNA is enabling us to speak to the underwater panther, because back then, obviously in the mythology stuff, it could actually talk. Notice the stars in the background, a simulation of a spirit, the, no the Norse dragon theory is not dis displaced, but this one given the underwater panther is always with two serpents. This one creature tease could be teasing three, which means there is another serp uh, serpent and water and air being the focus of Genesis 2 because they are what the arcs, what, what the arcs bring to earth, which in these simulations is preparing us for arc 2. Furthermore, it stands for uh, stands to reason mythologi uh, myth mythological forces um, being, you know, they would obviously would be protective or resistant of our return, and we are the Thunderbirds, and you know, so if you if you guys sort of understand, uh, you know, how like it, there is so much in the Ark story that you guys wouldn't even believe. Like it, some people don't actually follow the storyline of Ark, and they actually just sort of enjoy it, and that's what I started doing. But obviously, because I do this as a like, you know, I do this YouTube channel as a job and stuff I really thought because Ark is the game I do I'd get really involved in learning a lot more about the story and stuff now he just goes on to talking a little bit more stuff on to you know how this is all going to work how it leads into this creature being you know because uh, apparently this creature can talk so I could imagine this it could potentially be some sort of like I don't know because as you can see the HLNA is with it and it enables us to talk to this thing now I think it's probably gonna be a bad boss but I don't really know and obviously yeah you can see in the background there's there's like the underwater side of things but then it has the stars of the simulation which leads us to thinking are we gonna be a lot underwater but also leading to potential space there is so much we could look into this and obviously he goes on to when we return in arc survival evolved 2 because or you know as they say your survival ends here so it is very, very interesting information. Now, the Underwater Panther, obviously, I went and found it on the wiki, and it's the same name as what Matt did provide to us. Um, I'm, I'm Obviously, you know, there's so much stuff to read in this, and I just kind of, you know, skim through it just so you guys can see it. But the Great Lynx, it has the head and paws of a giant cat, but is covered in scales and dagger-like spikes running along its back and tail. Now, again, it's got scales. It's got gills, so it can breathe underwater. And obviously, as he talks about here, it's got the antlers on its head, which exactly what this underwater creature does have. Now, if we go into a little bit more information, let's see. Uh, some people think uh, believe that the underwater panthers were major components of... Uh, I mean, it's just, I suppose, pre prehistoric stuff. Um, uh, what else has it got information here? Um, it's also commonly referred as the G Great Underground Wildcat or the Great Underwater Wildcat. 
Uh, what else information? Um, in, it's meant to live in the Great Lakes, I suppose. Um, underwater panthers are described as water monsters, um, which, oh, that's, that's where it brings up the Thunderbirds thing. That, oh, that's pretty interesting. Um, masters of the power of air. Underwater panthers are seen as... Um, Seen as an opposing yet complementary force. Okay, I understand where he's come from. I understand. So, obviously, you know, I don't know a lot about this. So, this is literally me researching, like, on the spot type of thing. Um, I was wondering if they had any other stuff here to let us know. But it is really interesting. Like, when we were, when we, when I was going into the, sort of, the giant serpent from God of War. And, you know, it starts going into that sort of idea of when Thor was involved and stuff. And, you know, this guy, Matt, obviously then goes on and talks about how it always has two serpents alongside it so it is crazy i mean this thing could be something that works you know is underwater but maybe flies through the air as well i don't know you guys know i don't have as much information that's why i love sharing this stuff with you because you get those people that really you know in the comment section that really know their stuff about this and i they put it in the comments and i always either pin it or favor it so it's right at the top because your information doesn't only just help out me as i mentioned it helps out the whole community in general Genesis 2 is very exciting and very strange and we don't really know which way it's going but this bit of information has given us a slight bit more of a focus of what this you know where they're going to be taking us with this and all I'm going to be saying is they're not taking us down the uh, the the world finishing us off in the idea of you know just dinosaurs and stuff they're really taking us into this new mis mysterious, like, well, I'm just I'm trying to think of the word, like, mysterious could probably be the word for it, but sort of m mythology again, like, I don't know, like, sort of strange, like, I don't know, historic, it's, it's crazy, it's, it's absolutely crazy, and I, I feel like Wildcard, they, you know, it's really imaginative of them, and um, I'm looking forward to it, guys, and it's not long to go, we've got Crystal Isles coming out in the next, like, few weeks, coming out on the 25th of August, for the console then after that we've got a TLC phase 3 for two of the older creatures and the reason why I'm telling you they're only doing two is because you know I, I think they've got so much more planned as we talk about moving into arc 2 um, and then after that we have got obviously a few more events and stuff we'll have the Christmas stuff and then we have Genesis Part 2, and then from then on is uh, down to Wildcard to give us some information. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. It is very, very exciting information. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Let's go over that, over that thousand like target. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And one more thing is generally, if you guys have any, any information leading on to this as well, and you have anything to explain to the people in the comments, make sure to put it in, and I will make sure your comment is, is seen if I think, obviously, it's a appropriate and is like you know and has some le pretty legitimate information in there for the community thank you for watching guys and i'll catch you in my next video